Hey there, quick preface to this video. When I was doing the calculations, I mixed up Adam's downside and used his lockout wager as what the ladies needed to stay above. So the math's wrong here. It's correct on the website. Either way, two really bad, pretty bad wagers. But for obvious reasons, I couldn't go back and reshoot it. Enjoy this episode of The Final Wager. Hello. Welcome to The Final Wager. What starts with H and then has two O's after it? Who's Keith Williams? Hello. Thanks, brother of mine and my favorite guest host. Of this week, at least. Of this week, at least, yes. Mm -hmm. I honestly think a couple of the Jeopardy co's you've had have been much more articulate, verbose, if you will. Uh, just any of those words that I don't actually know the meaning of, but I've read them once and I kind of think I understand. But I have to admit, I've never ever rewound my DVR just to show someone a category name yeah. and then say, Corey, guess what the $2,000 clue in this category is going to be? I've never felt so much more <laughs> self-satisfaction from Keith than when he got it correctly. Oh my god. So as, as, as a couple of you may know, and most of you probably don't give a crap about, I went to Arizona State University, and one of their great hallmarks is the uh, dust storms that blow through the desert. And um, we used to call them dust storms, but in the recent past we called them haboobs, mainly because it's funny to say the word. No, but that's not why I know that name. Oh, well, you know why I know that name, right? Now why? We were playing Balderdash when you were maybe 10, I was 12, and the word that you had to define was habu. Hmm. And uh, someone's response here, I will not say which person it was, but it was, ha, your boob is hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> which wow. instantly won the game. I didn't, really, I didn't really think anybody here was going to actually use that word without saying ha attached to it. So I'm a little apologetic to the crowd. This is a... Uh, very inappropriate uh, episode of The Final Wager, starring Corey Williams and guest starring Keith Williams. Yeah, and you would think that, had I been thinking about this, I would have written scores up before, but I think they were this. But however, some things get in the way of success. Yes, and for the first time that you've ever been on, you, know, you might have some analysis to do here. Uh, I've actually done analysis before, and I believe it was, what? But, anyway. Was that who was stank? Yes, that was Ooh, a mistake, which was not a response. I thought they'd be like, no one has the reason to buy this episode. <laughs> to buy this Because no one knows. All right. um, this is actually a really good game. Uh, I bet everybody on this board had a, a pretty decent chance of winning, should they get the answer correct. Yeah, because... Um, there were no actually, locks and there were no you know, um, breakers. Alex was really excited yesterday when everyone had 3,000 or whatever. And uh, tonight, everyone had at least, what was it, 6,000? Or 5,000 was the lowest score that anyone had. So maybe, yeah, 26. Sorry, I'm probably missing it. Let's keep talking, though. Yeah, I mean, the thing about this game was that uh, Amelia came out real strong, and then everyone else kind of showed up towards the end there. I don't know if that means that, like, the easier question is she was better with the buzzer, and the rest of the teammates on the, I guess, not really teammates, but I, I viewed them as a group. Like, I believe they started to catch their wind on the, on the button a little bit. However... The important thing to remember on this game is that you have to keep on plugging out the whole way. You can't just uh, expect to win the first round and get through the whole thing. Yeah, and I I think you can kind of tell that Alex was goading Lisa into wagering everything on, she that, really was. on that daily double. Yeah, Because uh, he was like, remember what I told you at the beginning of the game? One clue could change everything. <laughs> and then... Yeah, I, I think he was very specifically like, you really don't have much of a chance here, but if you double up, you'll be right there at second place. I do think he was absolutely saying, just come on, like live once. This is your only chance. Yeah, this And is... Lisa lived it up. And if you uh, opened up her mouth, you would tell how old she was by her teeth. Apparently that's how horses work. That is. Yeah. And as soon as they open up the lip, I think we both went age. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, what else could it be, honestly? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'm not even going to do any secondary stuff here. Wait, is this? No, wait, this is weird. Oh, because this is 2600 between the two of them. Mm. So this is a rare situation cover, in which Keith doesn't here. know exactly what to do before the no, video starts. Care. Adam's going to wager to lock them out. Lisa's got to wager everything. And Amelia, I hope she goes small at, uh, well, uh, at least 400. That's what I'm going to say. And now, Corey and I, we'll unless you have something else to say before we watch. I honestly don't think anyone has any interest in hearing anything. Oh, well, oh, the Final Jeopardy category is hymns. Which the last time we had the hymns category was when uh, Tryon went for kinky boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we'll Choyan. see if anyone earns free uh, tickets to oh, a Broadway oh, oh. show. Try on, you sexy bastard. I miss you. Wow, I miss him too. I do. Yeah. That's weird. Try on, come sing karaoke with us sometime. Okay. We'll just uh, go and uh, watch what happens. How many times do I have to say this? It's $4,000, not $4,500. Keith, what do you think about this? Yeah, I, I agree. The extra 500 uh, had you not wagered this, Lisa, it would have magically kept Amelia from not wagering a terrible amount, which now I have total egg on my face for telling Amelia to wager at most 2400 because, well, she would have lost. Well, I actually think that... Um, in some cases, the best bet is on yourself, and that doesn't matter in terms of the actual statistical odds because not everyone follows the statistical model. How many times have we sat at a blackjack table and watched someone hit on a 13 against the 4? More times than I'm happy to admit. Uh, several times in a row in Atlantic City last time we went, actually. Yeah, and also I see now that my math is really way off, so... Uh, That's we, cool. We do that right? all hey. um, <laughs> This is actually my math, because we're used to me being the bad math guy. Yeah, so... so uh, that's my fault for going out with you tonight. Oh, so tell me about your uh, Final Jeopardy response here. Uh, so my guess on the hymns was, what is LOL? What was yours, Keith? Uh, what is Help Me Jesus? <laughs> oh, the classic hymn. So I should have... Uh, uh, I guess I should have gone to see Amazing Grace the Musical. Yeah, yeah. probably would have learned all about that. So and, Keith's uh, version of the uh, of, of the hymn probably would be on Whose Lies Is It Anyways, sung by Wayne Brady in 1999. I know. Do you wanna die? Do, Do you wanna help me, Jesus? That would be like the song that uh, would be played. I'm just confused. Where did I get 2600 and $2,400? Honestly, this whole video is probably gonna get put in the in the sinkhole, in the in that boob. <laughs> Let's hope a giant wind just comes and blows it all away, yeah? Nice. Well, hopefully not in this apartment. <laughs> no, fair enough. All right, well, all right, you want to take it up? Yeah, from my home to yours, Merry Christmas. Yes, if you're into that sort of thing. This is a secular Tonight, video. we thank you for joining us on the final wager. Yes, indeed. To a pleasant tomorrow. This is going to be the least watched video you've ever made. <laughs>